you know, a lot of people are down on Xbox, and I can understand why, but we have to give them props where props are due, and I think this is one of the instances where, hey, they responded to something, uh, and, it, and it's a good response, you know? At the end of the day, they're far from perfect, but honestly, I feel like the things that they are doing are at least trying to, you know, own up to the ability to have uh, people be happy, you know, and, and be and be excited about, you know, what the what the future holds for the Xbox. Um, will it continue to be a great experience for the Xbox? Like, I, listen, I don't really know. You know, we'll have to wait and see, but it does feel like Microsoft is at least attempting to move in the right direction, and I feel like that is something worthwhile doing a video on. I'm sure some of you guys will probably agree. Listen, we've had, you know, various kind of negative uh, articles and negative, uh, negativity around the Xbox in general, and I get that because I'm part of that. Like, when there needs to be something there, uh, I 100% will talk about it. But right now, you know, it's like, it's so interesting to me that um, in general for what Microsoft is trying to do, uh, you know, some of it is good. You know, we, we, not everything they do is, is bad or should be looked at as like a bad thing. So I kind of want to get that little thought process out of the way first. Now we can go ahead and get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Crap Gamer. This is Crap Gamer Reviews with another video. Thank you so much for checking it out. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. I would appreciate that as well. It helps out the channel tremendously. Uh, listen, a simple thing like liking the video if you're if you guys are watching the video why not go ahead and like the video as well it really does help out the channel i do daily gaming content even through the hurricane i'm doing daily gaming content so you know thankfully you came out good on that uh, and i want to get into this so you know there's always rumors that xbox is about to pull out of here or pull out of there uh these different regions are giving up you know uh, a new report suggested that Xbox was actually planning to exit areas like Saudi Arabia, leading to speculation about a total exit from the wider Middle East region. Uh, a long time, uh, you know, as long as the sun shines, there's going to be rumors of Xbox's imminent demise. Apparently, you know, that's going to be something we're going to have to hear with for a long time. It seems like news of Xbox's end continues to be at least slightly exaggerated. While traveling back from a recent event, uh, according to this article on Windows Central, people uh, started uh, DMing uh, them and they were concerned, fans from the Middle East, with particular emphasis on Saudi Arabia. This isn't the first time that a wave of messages about Xbox's status in the region. As we know from previous articles, Xbox isn't always the best at supporting its extended global footprint outside of the U.S., although times are changing. Uh, Xbox's recent charm offensive in Japan was revealed during the Tokyo Game Show, which displays Microsoft's continued investment in supporting the platform beyond America's shores. This year, we've had Xbox console announcements for Eastern games like Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered and Genshin Impact, although there's undoubtedly still work to be done there. And it's a little bit weird because they do that, right, where they're like, hey, we love, um, you know, we love, uh, uh, you know, this audience and we love what they're doing, uh, you know, but then what do they do? Uh, you know, they... Uh, uh, they they sit there and close their only Japanese developers. So, you know, they send mixed messaging and I can understand why people are a little bit kind of bugged by that or whatever. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's up to them um, and, and, and we'll see what kind of happens uh, in the future uh, when it comes to like the support in the region. You know, I'm hoping that they continue to kind of get support and things like that. In any case, it hasn't stopped users from regions where Xbox's footprint has been fairly small, wondering if Microsoft might exit those regions altogether. Earlier in July, Tom Warren at The Verge suggested that Microsoft was planning to shift Xbox's focus away from the regions where it struggles to focus on more favorable markets like the United States and the United Kingdom. And we had another report that Xbox is gearing to exit a major market. Game journalist and CEO of True Gaming over in Saudi Arabia recently posted on X that Xbox is gearing up to exit distribu uh, distribution of its console hardware in Saudi Arabia, leading to questions about Xbox's commitment to the wider region. Naturally, Saudi Arabia is a vast and very important gaming market in the Middle East, so for Xbox to exit there, it would naturally raise concerns about a broader pullback for the platform. Basically, if they're exiting there, where wouldn't they exit? You know, that's something that I feel like, obviously, um, you know, 
we, we kind of look at these things and we go, okay, well, how is that going to affect uh, the future of the platform? If they're pulling out of here, they probably would pull out of pretty much everywhere. So, you know, again, people are worried and I can understand why, you know, uh, when the rumors finally cropped up, according to sources, they denied that Xbox had any type of, um, you know, situation where, they were going to do that uh they're not going to exit saudi arabia or indeed any region where they are presently operating so you know people have to kind of keep that in mind as we kind of go forward um you know and uh naturally it's 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 naturally ideal for to get official commentation uh from from these companies themselves and to that end um they asked Microsoft to comment on rumors, given that they've grown pretty loud over the last few weeks. Finally, Amy Silverman, Xbox Chief Consumer Sales op uh, Officer, responded with the following statement. And I quote, Xbox devices are available in all current Xbox hardware supported countries, including Saudi Arabia. Console availability may vary by country, but Xbox games can be played on console, PC, and on phones, tablets, or TVs where Xbox Cloud Gaming is available. Uh, Silverman also noted that players can head to xbox.com slash regions to see where Xbox will continue to be available and what types of support you can expect per region. Naturally, things like Xbox Cloud Gaming are subject to regional data center availability. You naturally expect Xbox Series X and S stock levels or indeed any hardware product stock levels to fluctuate as new units are manufactured and in response to the levels of supply and demand that are present at any particular moment in time. At least for now, there seems to be no plans for Microsoft to give up any of its existing Middle East regions, including, um, you know, Saudi Arabia. So that's good news anyway. Um, and according to this, they fully expect that the next gen Xbox will range, uh, will enjoy broad global distribution. Like you would have to do that. You have to figure that they want they want these things in as many places as possible. So it's true that the Xbox Series X and S series range has struggled to find the sales success of the competitors like the Switch or the PlayStation 5, but you don't need to be first to be successful. Uh, Microsoft continues to emphasize that it has more console players on Xbox ever before. And again, I've kind of talked about this. I get there why they're saying that, but the Xbox One users aren't going to be there forever. So you have to build up the Xbox Series X and S users at some point, right? You have to hope that people attach onto that because they the people that are on a series x and s will probably be on them into next generation kind of like how xbox one users are into this generation but you had almost 60 million people on xbox one so you know you probably have half of them still on xbox one so at some point you're going to need a influx of new users uh for when the next generation starts uh, you can't just go oh well we're not selling we you know we'll never sell because i can guarantee at some point the games like Minecraft and Fortnite and all these games will stop being supported on the older stuff. Uh, users on past-gen system like the Xbox One S and Xbox One X have been more sticky than usual given that blockbuster games like Minecraft and Fortnite and so on continue to be maintained and updated on past-gen systems. Still, Xbox and Microsoft has earned themselves a reputation for inconsistency in the hardware space. Um, there's a story up from just this past week dealing with how the $1,500 Surface Duo 2 is now dead with no more planned Android security updates, making it quite potentially dangerous to use. Given Microsoft's shaky commitment at times, you'd be forgiving for wanting to keep Xbox on its toes on these kinds of issues. Still, Amy Silverman's statement is pretty definitive that Xbox has no plans, at least for now, to exit Saudi Arabia or indeed any existed region. Coupled with well-sourced denials on their end, it's easily to be confident to shut the door on this particular rumor for now. Even if Xbox Series X and S stock levels fluctuate, uh, firmly expect to see the next-gen Xbox and maybe even a handheld will launch in all current regions, including Saudi Arabia. So Jez Gordon is a pretty good source for this type of stuff. And, you know, again, uh, it makes sense to kind of keep everything in as many different places as you possibly can. And, and hopefully, you know, Xbox can see some kind of rebound. I think I still think that, you know, if, uh, that one of the reasons why things aren't selling this well this generation is because they haven't offered enough things that are, are that are good looking in terms of games. Like we just have not had those massive games like we've had before. And, you know, that's unfortunate, you know, because I feel like we do need those killer apps 
that are going to push th these consoles uh, in a way that we have never seen before. So I'm sure that a lot of you probably agree with that, uh, but it is good to see Microsoft respond and, you know, could kind of put this rumor to rest. Uh, otherwise, these things just kind of run rampant and kind of just run unchecked over and over again. But anyway, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Rack them up, fact them up, crap gamer them up, crap gamer out.